you are there. Very good. There where you are, you see daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Daytime. Mm -hmm. And what is happening? Everybody's talking in the classroom. Everybody's talking in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And what are they talking about? There's so many talking. I'm by my own. Can you repeat that again? I was by my own. I wasn't bothering to hear what they're talking about. You cannot hear what they're talking about? I didn't bother. But you didn't bother? Okay. What else is happening? This one girl is shocked. There's one guy? One girl that's shocked to that's see you. Shocked to see you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why is she shocked? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What is that girl's name? Anna. Can you say that name again? Hannah. Anna? Hannah. Hannah? Mm -hmm. Let's ask Hannah, I'm going to count to three. Are you going to talk like Hannah? This is role change. One, two, three, change. Hey Hannah, are you Ivan's friend? Mm-hmm. Are you? Mm-hmm. Hey Hannah, um, I understand that Ivan noticed that you're kind of shocked to see him. Um, why are you shocked? I've not seen him for a long time. You haven't seen him in a long time? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you're shocked for a good reason. Are you happy to see Ivan again? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. uh, Hannah, what happens? What do you feel when you see him? Mm. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, let me talk to Ivan again. One, two, three. Ivan? So it seems that Hannah is shocked because she has not seen you in a long time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why hasn't you seen haven't you seen her in a long time? She switched schools. She switched schools. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden she's back? Apparently. Mm -hmm. So I see that this girl is shocked to see you. Why is this a sad memory? I don't know. You don't know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just felt sad. You feel sad? It felt sad. You feel sad. Mm -hmm. Very good. I want you to connect to your subconscious, that part of you, that powerful part of you, that knows everything and I want you to connect with that emotion connect with that emotion I want you to take a good look at Hannah again take a good look at Hannah again tell me what do you feel when you see her? surprised still you still surprised? mm-hmm mm -hmm. Ask your subconscious, why are you sad to see her? Why do you feel sad when you see her? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did she stay in that school for some time? Mm, I think one year. One year. So your subconscious knew that she was going to go away again, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why you kind of knew that you were going to be sad again. But life is like that, you know? There's going to be people that come to your life, create good memories, some of some other people get out of your life and leave sad memories. Some other friends teach us lessons. 
with the things they do to us, even bad things they might do to us, teaches us a lesson. And that is part of life. That is part of the experience. So why you see Hannah going to ask you, would you, like, would you like to remove that sadness? That sadness you feel when you see her? And just keep the good memories of seeing a friend back in school? Because mm -hmm. you don't know what the future brings for you. You might see her again when she's a lot older. Should we remove it? No. Should we remove that sadness? Maybe. Mm hmm Maybe. What will you do with that sadness if it stays with you? How can you use sadness in a positive way in your life? Try to make her happy. Try to make who happy? The sadness. The sadness, right. In order to convert that sadness into happiness, we need to remove it first, right? Mm -hmm. So I have a magic hand that is going to remove that sadness from you so that you can put happiness in its place. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Put my hand. And I want you to put that sadness here. That feeling of sadness when you saw that friend, put it in my hand and I'll take it with me. Okay. Okay, I'm taking it with me, taking it with me, taking it with me, gone. Let's take it, take it, take it, remove it, gone. Perfect. What would you like to put in that empty space that that sadness left? Happy. Okay, put some happiness there. Anything else? That's it. Perfect. Put the happiness and activate the happiness. Just keep the memory of seeing your friend back and remove that sadness. And now, with that understanding, I want to see how you see things now. Going to count to three and you'll be back to the moment where you see Hannah again. Three, two, one. You're there. And you just saw Hannah. What is happening? She's running at me. She's running at you? Mm hmm. What else happens? Then she hugs me. And she hugs me. Okay. Excellent. So is this a happy moment now? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Activate the happiness. That memory with your friend. That's it. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to count again from five to one. And I want you to look for another memory. Another memory, anything that frustrated you. May you sad, may you upset. Five, go deep. Four. Daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Daytime. Mm -hmm. And what is happening? My dad told me that 33 chickens are dead. Can you repeat that again? My dad told me that 33 chickens are dead. Your, my dad tells me that 30, 33 chickens are dead? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Animal. Animal? Mm -hmm. How old are you, dear? Thirteen. Thirteen. How did that happen? We don't know. We couldn't find out what was the animal. Mm -hmm. 
So there was an animal that got got in where the chickens were and killed them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Sad anger. Anger? Mm-hmm. Anger to who? To that animal. To that animal? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me ask you a question. What do you think the difference is between a human being and an animal? What is the difference? Mm-hmm. So... Do you think humans are better than animals? No. No. Do you know that a human being is the most dangerous animal there can be on Earth? Yes. Kill for fun, kills its own kind, kills with no reason, destroys. That's a human being. An animal doesn't know that. An animal acts based on the instinct. They were created in nature to go by their instinct. You see? Mm. So, Imagine that you see a lion and a deer together. What do you think is going to happen? The lion is going to attack it. Mm -hmm. And is that because the lion is bad? No. No, right? That's how it was created. It's his instinct. The same way that animal that killed those 33 chickens. Do you think it wasn't it acting? by instinct? Hmm? Wasn't that animal that killed those chickens acting by instinct? I don't know. Right. That, that, that's the way they work. They're hungry and they kill. That's how they, they were made. That's nature. It is not their fault. It is not their fault. If somebody did something to Esme, somebody threatens to hit Esme, what would you do to that person? Tell him to stop. Mm -hmm. And by instinct, you would try to hit him too, right? Yes. Right. Would somebody blame you by acting by instinct? No. No. Why do you blame that animal for acting, following his instincts? That's what animals do, you see? Humans are more dangerous than animals. And you live among them. And you forgive them. Sometimes you make friends with them without noticing that they're dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to forgive that animal for killing those 30, 33 chickens? Because he didn't know better. That's what animals do. Should we forgive that animal? Because this is the law of nature. He killed 33 chickens. And I'm sure that somebody will kill that animal because that's the way nature works. Yes. Okay. So let me put my hand here. That anger. That sadness. Put it in my hand. Let me know and I'll take it with me. Okay. Perfect, okay. Taking it with me, taking it with me. Go. Oh, this is heavy. Gonna take it, take it, take it, remove it. Gone. There's more here. Take it, take it, let's take it away. Gone. How would you like to put in this empty space? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Excellent choice. Put forgiveness. Activate that. What else do you want to put there? That's it. That's it? Perfect. With that forgiveness and that understanding, let's look for another memory. This time it can be any memory. Sad or happy. Recent memory or something like when you were a kid. Anything that comes to your mind. Five, four, three, 
two, one. What is happening there? Um, I'm getting my stripe. You're getting what? My stripe. My stripe? My stripe. Mm -hmm. And what is that? For karate. Karate, okay. Mm -hmm. Is this a happy memory? Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And what else is happening? Um, my sensei is giving it to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really good. And what does that stripe mean? Um, participation. Mm hmm. But that means that you were a person that was there a lot. There a lot. And also uh, put a lot of effort. Yes. And you know what you're doing. Yes. And they have a lot of discipline. Yes. So that speaks about you. Right? Yes. Is that how you are? How you feel? Right now. Perfect. Connect with that emotion. And see how you feel proud. How you feel powerful. How you feel you have accomplished something. And this is just the beginning of your life. Just the beginning. I want you to remember, I want you to remember that feeling of power, achievement, of pride. Take it with you for the rest of your life. Every time you put your effort into something, every time you put discipline, dedication, every time you work hard for something, that is how you will feel from now on. That's it. Very good. Very good. So let's activate those feelings. One more time with that feeling of accomplishment and pride going to count from five to one. And let's look for another memory, any memory. Five. Still, you have to be happy or sad. Could be any memory. Four. Three. Go deep. Two. And one. What is happening there? I'm asking Mama and say so if we can spore for a little while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He says yes. Mm -hmm. So we spore for a little bit to ask him if we can grapple. Mm -hmm. He said yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this a happy memory? Yes. Did you enjoy that moment? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you becoming better at it? Yes. Of course. Because every time you practice something, you become better and better. Better and better. And I want you to remember that feeling. Put your effort into something to become better. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. That's it. Really good. Now, I want you to extend, turn your palms this way, both of them, really good. And now, I want to talk to the part of you that is always angry. It make, makes you angry, upset, that makes you feel sometimes that you're going to lose control. I'm going to be speaking to that part in a little bit. 
but I'm also going to speak to the part of you that is powerful, that is in control, that has all the resources, that knows what's better for you, and knows how to control. It helps you control yourself. Now I want you to close your eyes, close your eyes, and I want you on your left hand, imagine that you create like a little person on your left hand, a little person of that part of you that is angry all the time, that makes you lose control. How would that, how does, how would that little person look? Angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. What kind of clothes would he wear? Red. Red. Mm -hmm. What about the hairstyle? Same. What kind of hairstyle? Um, normal. Normal? Mm -hmm. And if that little part who had a voice, how would it sound? Exhausted. Exhausted? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, okay. Now, on your right hand, I want you to imagine that you're creating this little person that represents the power for you, the part of you that has all the resources, that is always in control. How would that person look? Happy. Happy. Mm -hmm. What kind of clothes would he wear? Blue. Blue. What about the hairstyle? Normal. Normal. Mm -hmm. What kind of voice would he have? Um, excited, happy and ready. Happy, happy and ready. Of course, that's the power for you. Always ready, energetic ready to control, knows what's best for you. Excellent. That's it. Very good. Now I want you, or I want to talk to that left little person, that part of you that is always angry. And I want to ask that part of you, what is the positive attitude for that? Because even though if it looks like it's something negative, I'm sure there is something something positive behind it. What would that be? Because he's always stressed. Because what? Because he's always stressed. He's always stressed. So so that part of you by making you stressed, is he protecting you for something? From something? Mm. When that part of you makes you angry. Is he protecting you from something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You can ask that part of you. You can ask that person. Ask it. What? When? What is the point of getting angry? Are you trying to protect me for something? From something? No. Mm -hmm. Why is it positive from this? Why is he doing this? Making you angry? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask questions. Um, so this little person, this part of you, I'm going to talk to that person. By making you angry, is he trying to protect you from other people? So people see you angry, they don't go get close to you? I'm guessing yes. Okay, so that makes sense. You see? So that part of you, even though it looks like something negative, it is actually trying to protect you. So I'm asking that little part of you, the angry part, will you be willing to look for other alternatives, other resources? And we appreciate that you're protecting um, Ivan, but will you look for other alternatives? to make Ivan powerful, to make Ivan resourceful. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I want this other Ivan, the powerful Ivan, talk to the other Ivan, everyone. And number one, say that we appreciate the help, but we're ready to have more resources. Go ahead and have that Ivan talk to the other one. You can repeat it if you want. What would this Ivan, the powerful one, say to the negative one, to the angry one? Thank you. Mm -hmm. For your work. For your work. Mm -hmm. And how can you guys work together? What can this I want, the powerful one, do for you, for the big I want? It's being ready at all times. Perfect, perfect. So I see that both of you are trying to help Ivan in a way. The angry one trying to protect him, and the powerful one having him be ready all the time. Do you think you guys can work together to help Ivan in a better way? Yes. Perfect. So I want you to put your hands together. Put your hands together. We're going to fuse the two Ivans. Put them together. Strong. Strong. Tight. Tight. We have the two Ivans, the angry one and the powerful one, fusing. They're creating one person, one new Ivan. That's it. Very good. Now, if you open your eye, your hands, see the new one. How does the new Ivan look? White. White? Mm -hmm. What else? He has long hair. Long hair? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does he look smart, wise, powerful? Powerful. Um, luxury smart. Luxury smart. Really good. So now I want you to take the new Ivan to your heart. To your heart. Right there. That's it. Really good. And take a deep breath. And feel how it integrates with you. The new Ivan integrates with you. That's it all yourselves. This is the new Ivan, always ready, always happy, resourceful, in control, that doesn't need to be angry all the time. Doesn't need to be angry all the time. That's it. Very good. And from now on, that is how you're going to behave. Powerful, resourceful, happy, positive, always in control, that's it, really good, really good, really good, now, going to count from three to one, when I get to one, I will touch your forehead, and I want you to go to a memory when you felt powerful, in control, when you felt that you, can, you could conquer the world, that nothing could do anything to you. Powerful and strong, proud. Three, two, one. Be there. Be there. Be there. You don't have to tell me what you're seeing. Just tell me there if in that memory you feel powerful, you feel strong. Yes. Perfect. Very good. And now, going to take these three fingers, you're going to press them together. That's it. Really good. Really good. And every time you put your fingers like this, you will feel the same way, powerful, resourceful, in control, nothing can be done against you, 
you will feel calm because you know yourself, you are in control. Your mind and your heart, you can close your eyes, close your eyes. Your mind and your heart are always relaxed and in control when you do this, when you press these three fingers. That's it. Very good. Very good. Once again, remember, always you put these three fingers together. You always be in control, relaxed, happy, resourceful. Whenever you speak in front of people, whenever you're reading, whenever there's noise in the classroom, you will not bother you. All you have to do is put these three fingers together and you will feel how your body is calm, you're in control, you're relaxed, and that you own the situation. That's it. Really good. Perfect. And now we're going to try this. We're going to try this. Going to kind of count from three to one. And I want you to go back to a time where you felt nervous in front of people or the noise bothered you. You felt that you were going to lose control. Three, two, one. Be there. Be there. I want you to describe to me what are you feeling in that situation? How do you feel? Panic. Panic. Mm -hmm. What else? Nervous. Nervous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Your heartbeat. Check your heartbeat. How does it feel? Fast. Fast. Your thoughts. Can you think clearly? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to do this. What I taught you, put your three fingers together and press them. And you will feel how everything is in control. Your thoughts, your heartbeat slows down. You feel relaxed, in control, powerful. You feel that? Yes. Really good. Perfect. You can open your fingers again. Go back to the same situation. I want you to feel that situation again. Where you were panicked. Try it again. Try. The heartbeat raises. Your thoughts. You feel like you're going to lose control. Yes. Right? Put your three fingers together again. You feel the difference. You relax calm, in control, you can see clearly and think clearly. That's it. Very good. Very good. So from now on, that's how you're going to feel every time you do that, every time you're in a stressful situation, every time when you feel that you're going to lose control going to put your three fingers together and this is how you're going to feel relaxed powerful resourceful happy in control that's it really good that's it very good Enjoy that relaxation, enjoy that feeling. Enjoy that feeling. Very good. Going to count from three to one. And you'll go back to the time where you felt like maybe you were playing video games and then you felt something in your head you felt like you were going to lose control. Three, two, one. Be there. What is happening? 
playing with my cousins. I'm playing with my cousins. Mm -hmm. And what is happening? We're playing a game. We're playing a game. And then I feel out of control for two seconds. I and then it disappeared. And then it disappeared. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to that moment where you feel like you're about to lose control. What are you feeling? What sensations? Mm -hmm. Frustration. Frustration. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, and frustration about what? I don't know, I just get rid of frustration. Mm -hmm. Where is that frustration coming from? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just pops up. Just pops up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to examine your body from inside or from outside. You can float on top of your body and we're supposed to be white light. White light, covered in white light. Let me know if your body is all white or if there is something that is not in place. Is white. Everything is white. Okay, very good. So to go back to those two seconds where you feel you're gonna lose control. You're there? Mm -hmm. Put your three fingers together again. Feel the difference. You relax. You're in control. You're soulful, powerful, calm. You feel that? Yes. That's it. Very good. All right, now I want you to go back to that beautiful beach. Go back to that beautiful beach. And I want you to take a walk in that beach and enjoy the sand, the sun, the wind blowing in your face, the sound of the ocean. If you want, you can lean to the water and see how that magic water regenerates your body, your strength. You can take a swim there and you will see how all the resources that you need get in your mind, how you relax, enjoy that. Feeling relaxed, powerful, relaxed, powerful, that's it, very good. When you're ready, you can get out of the water, you can get out of the water and continue walking, continue walking in the sand, enjoy the wind, sound, the sound of the waves, and you go towards the stairs, and you came down, came down, okay, and in a moment I'm going to count from five, I'm sorry, from one to five, when I get to five, you'll be fully awake, feeling wonderful, great, one, you're starting to come back. You feel the energy coming from your feet, going towards your knees and your whole body. Two, you will remember how to use those three fingers to connect with the power for you to be in control. Three, there's a new Ivan, always positive in control, no anger needed. Three, you will forget anything you need to forget from this session to continue the rest of your life. Four, you're gonna feel wonderful, rested, refreshed, ready to conquer the world. There's a new Ivan coming out of this, ready to come back in five. How do you feel? Tired. Tired? <laughs> How long have you been there? For like four hours. Forever? Yes, sir. What do you remember? 
depth of each. What else? The house. The house? <laughs> Which house? From the beach. From the beach? Oh, there was a house at the beach? Yes. Okay. Well, stay there, stay there. Just relax. We're still talking. What else do you remember? Mm. Can we start the hypnosis session now? Mm. Can we start the hypnosis session now? Sure. Sure? I think you fell asleep. Mm. Can we start now? If it's good with you. Huh? If it's good with you. No, it's good with me, but I'm asking you. I, if you feel okay, can we start? Yes. Right, because we have not done anything yet. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? The beach, the house? Yes. Okay. Mm. All right. Today is March 30th, 2016. We are with Ivan. And um, it was an excellent session. Um, I'm not going to ask to you to share anything until we don't talk to your parents. I'm just going to put myself in the video so you keep this for, for you. Okay, one second, let's see. Okay, Ivan, let's look, look at the camera. Can I see you? Well, look at the camera, right? Antonio Sanjo, I practice introspective hypnosis. Website, www. Antonio, that's A N T O N I O, Sanjo, that's S A N G I O, dot com. And um, that's it, we had a wonderful session. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.